Welcome back to the Apex Archives. Today we're taking a look at a factory original FMP G3. Alright, so let's take a look at this FMP G3. Now this specific model of G3 is an original import from the 80s. It was imported by PARS International, and a very limited number of these guns came to the country. There's not any US made parts on this, so that makes this a very cool rifle. Now you'll notice with this G3, I've got this thumb hole stock here in front of it, and the reason for this is because this came in at a very strange time during the import era when an import ban went into place. They couldn't be imported in their military stock configuration. It had to be imported with a thumb hole stock. So the importer decided to contract out with Bishop and make a custom thumb hole stock so that way he could finish importing these into the country. Another key indicator besides the butt stock that comes with this rifle is on the left side hand of this rifle. There is an X mark where the serial number is indicating that it did come in during that weird transitionary period during the import ban when there were some restrictions on what furniture and configuration rifles could be brought in with. Interesting, right? Now, the G3 is a German designed and manufactured rifle. You might recognize this if you're familiar with our sister company, Apex Gun Parts, as this is the successor to the Setme Model C. Now, the Germans made the Setme C and then went back to Germany and made some modifications. And different countries who adopted this could license the rifle from H&K and start producing it domestically. Now, this is a Portuguese produced G3. So it was made on H&K tooling in Portugal and licensed out by H&K. So it's got a few distinct markings that identify it as Portuguese made, but it's essentially a very, very close copy to the H&K G3. So let's take a look at a few key features of the G3. As you can see up here, there is a bird style type flash hider. There is a three ring front sight block. It's got the front sight, a place where the cocking tube interacts with the front sight, and then it goes around the barrel down here. We have the classic style thin lower hand guard, cocking tube up here, and then stamped sheet metal receiver. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the G3 is a roller delayed blowback. So there are two rollers in the bolt head that lock the round into the chamber and also act as a locking mechanism for when it fires and then eventually recoils. It delays the blowback and recoils the weapon. So there's not a gas system per se. It's all done via the rollers in the front of the gun. Moving back here, we've got a cylindrical rotating rear sight aperture that you can change for various distances. We've got a standard G3 style buttstock, standard G3 style pistol grip, and then the lower trigger housing frame right here. Right here is the magazine well, which is built into the main stamped sheet metal receiver. There's a couple key identifiers that identify this as a Portuguese rifle. And we'll go through those real quick. On the left side of the gun here, we'll flip it over over, and there are some factory import markings from when this gun was originally imported. We have XG3S, and as I mentioned earlier, that X was added during that weird import band limbo when these were stuck during import and had to be converted over to a thumb hole stock. Then we have G3S, which is the model of the rifle. And then we have FMP, and FMP signifies that this is a rifle made in Portugal. Following that, we have a serial number and then a date of manufacture, which is 3 1989. On the right side of the rifle here, we have the import markings from when this gun was brought in. And in addition, there will be a few other markings that we'll go over once we do the field strip of the rifle. So the first thing that we'll want to do as always is make sure that the gun is cleared. What we're going to do is we're going to do the magazine release with the button here and then we'll pull back on the cocking tube here and make sure that the chamber is empty which it is and we'll let this go forward and we can start with the field strip the g3 is a very easy field stripping design the first thing that we'll do is we'll push out these two little pins here in the back to remove the butt stock and we can continue with the field strip pull back on the butt stock and remove the butt stock from the receiver and as you can see, the recoil spring is attached to that rear sheet metal piece and buttstock. Then from here, we can see that the trigger pack removes just like so. On the front of the rifle here, we have those same type of pins, which we can push out on, on the left side. It'll pull out on the right, and then the lower hand guard should come straight out, like so. Last step is to take out the bolt and carrier. We can grab the cocking handle and bring it to the rear here. And then from here, we can simply temp the rifle back and the bolt and carrier will come right out just like so. Now we've got the FMP G3 completely field stripped and disassembled. From here, we can look at a few other markings on this rifle to help us identify that it is Portuguese. On the barrel here, there are some proof marks. And on the right hand side, you can see that there's an FMP. On some other FMPs as well, 
the FMP marking will be closer to the trunnion, which is installed here in the sheet metal. But on this one, it's nicely etched on the side of the barrel here, which identifies it as an FMP barrel. On the left side of the trigger pack here, we can see that there's a serial number, which matches up with the rest of the gun, helps us identify that it is in fact FMP because it matches the rest of the gun. In addition, we also have the bolt and carrier here. And on the bolt and carrier, there are matching numbers etched in on the bottom of the carrier group and bolt head here. And then also on the top of the bolt carrier and bolt, we can see FMP as well as the date of manufacture for each of those parts. Last thing we'll make note of is on the buttstock assembly here with the recoil spring on this piece of sheet metal, we can see there are more matching numbers on the back of this, which match up with the rest of the gun. In addition, if you have G3 magazines, all G3 magazines have marking of their manufacturer and they're gonna be on the left side here, which shows a cage number as well as G3 FMP and a date of manufacture, identifying it as a Portuguese made G3 magazine. Now we'll make a quick note of the buttstock assembly here, the rear sheet metal piece has been swapped out on this butt stock, but on the original import guns, this piece of sheet metal here would have matching numbers to the rest of the gun. And on the back here, we can see that it has Bishop, which is the manufacturer of this thumb hole stock. To reassemble the rifle, we'll just follow the field strip disassembly guide in reverse order. For more information on the FMP G3, you can look us up at the Apex Archives. And if you're interested in any parts or accessory for the G3 series of rifles, you can check out our sister company, apexgunparts.com.